What's happening, Plymouth Prowler Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've got my headlights out of my Plymouth Prowler here, and um, I don't have any moisture right now. I do have some oxidation on the lens, that's not what that is. But I've had a problem here in the past where I've noticed moisture in the headlight lens, uh, typical with cars of a certain age. Now, uh, what I did is I pulled these off because I thought, oh, I've got a breach somewhere on the headlight lamp assembly, and so I took them off. I took them apart, really took a close look at everything, and I have a theory of where the water is getting in. Now, you, what you may not know is that it does not take much of a breach in the housing for water to get in, and sometimes, you know, even a little tiny crack on uh, the seal or something like that allows the moisture in. So anyway, uh, what I do think it ends up being is that after taking a look at everything, um, you know, the seal around where this housing attaches is quite good. I've already added some sealant there, you know, even where the um, the grommet is here that, you know, uh, lets the cable pass through, you know, everything looks pretty good. What I end up thinking, what I think it is, is that this little foam seal around the top lip where the top uh, lens cover goes on, you know, so on this side here, as you can see, we've got this, there are this uh, compartment cover that goes on top of it. So this little foam seal that goes all the way around over time is just getting compressed. And as you can see, there are some higher parts and lower parts to it. Now, that's because when you tighten this down, it kind of crushes it and that's what creates the seal. What I think ends up happening is that over time, the parts that get crushed and the parts that aren't crushed um, just end up kind of getting more and more tamped down and eventually there are gaps in it. And so, you know, especially when water splashes in from the outside because this is right up against where the uh, hood closes or from inside or whatever or just humidity in the air, you know, it can kind of roll in between uh, the hard plastic here and this, this foam. So what I did here is I actually ordered a roll of additional foam. This is, I believe it's one quarter inch by one eighth inch by, I don't know, probably 30 yards or something. Uh, and so it's just foam, very similar to what's on here, but it's actually just a roll of it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this foam, and is what you might be able to see here is it actually fits inside this, the one eighth inch, or might be one quarter inch wide and one eighth inch thick. One quarter inch wide fits inside this little the little channel here on the top lid. So I'm gonna put it, I'm going to lay uh, some foam in here as best I can, taking up all of the uh, additional space. Uh, it'll be a little bit tough and some of the joins where maybe I can't turn the foam, but I think the foam mounted, uh, you know, stuck on the top lid, then compressed against the foam here should create enough of a watertight seal that hopefully that will prevent Kind of water from getting in or water vapor and condensation etc so i think that's the issue is right up uh, right up in here now I, what i also did is i actually used some black uh sealant you can see a little bit of leakage here to kind of glue this foam piece down in place and because i was worried about it rolling and it, like i said it's really you know uh, quite a bit uh delicate now and so uh, besides gluing it down with that silicone and then putting another uh, channel of this foam in to on top. Hopefully that should generally take care of it. It's not going to be perfect, but that's where I think the water intrusion is. So hopefully that helps. I'll put a link to the roll of foam uh, tape that I bought here. Picked it up on Amazon uh, in the description if you want to pick it up too. Peter Mom panned out.